Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you're all doing super well today. You guys probably already know this by the title, but, but I have picked up one of these bad boys. We have acquired a Switch OLED and you're not gonna see this on this day, but I did get it on release day. Today is the 8th, so they did drop today and I managed to get one. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. I just wanna point out before we get into this that like 75% of you guys are not subscribed to me, yet you're watching my videos. So if you are watching this, go down below. You can tap on that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated. It is free to do. Don't cost nothing except for maybe two seconds of your time. Also, while you're at it, um, if you wanna watch some live streams, I am going to start live streaming on Twitch a little bit more. I have a setup now, so my my camera can be used as my webcam. So I'm probably going to be streaming a little bit more now that I have a good camera for it. Anyways, let's get right into this. Sorry about making you guys wait. We have that here, and we are going to be going over whether or not I think the Switch OLED is worth it. So... As you guys probably know, the Switch OLED is a little bit more expensive than the standard Switch. It is about 50 bucks more. It is $349.99, whereas the standard Switch is $299.99. So it's 300 bucks. You go up 50 bucks, you get the OLED. Let me open this up real quick. So this here is what it looks like when you open it. It comes with a new HDMI cord. Obviously, it comes with the charger. The wrist straps for the controllers. This here is the little grip. And we have the docking station. You wrap it in bubble wrap and stuff. It is crisp. It is nice and white. And it will definitely get very dirty. It has a little bit different layout on the back for the opening. Oh, and it completely comes off. It doesn't, uh, doesn't like fold down. It completely comes out. Same thing as before, USB-C, AC adapter, HDMI output, LAN, so you can hardwire for internet. Do I think that the Switch OLED is worth it? So I haven't actually played much, actually I haven't played anything just yet with it, but as far as features are concerned, there's not really a lot more in terms of features. So the Switch itself, obviously, you know by the name, OLED. So it has an OLED screen. That means that we're gonna have a lot better colors and contrast. The screen itself is also a little bit bigger. It goes from, I think it's like 6.2 inches to about seven inches. On top of that, the kickstand is a little bit better. So instead of being a tiny kickstand, it is a full kickstand. It's a lot more sturdy than this little dink. Like this wasn't that great. And then the internal storage it has about six uh, i think it's double the amount of storage i think it's 64 gigabytes built into it whereas the old one was 32 gigabytes which that's like whatever because you can just get a micro sd card to throw in there but yeah the the big thing is definitely going to be the screen size the oled screen um i think it has a better speakers as well so the speakers are supposed to be a little bit improved but as far as the difference are concerned i believe that's about it i don't think there's any other differences other than that. Um, now, do I think it is worth it? For the extra 50 bucks, definitely. Now, coming from a home theater background where I've worked as a home theater salesman for the past four years, um, a jump from a standard LED panel to an OLED panel, in my opinion, is enough to go up that 50 bucks. You go up that 50 bucks, the color, the contrast, everything is going to look so much better on the Switch OLED. That extra 50 bucks, I, if you have the money, I would spend it. On top of that, you get the better speakers. So when you're using it in handheld mode, or if you don't have it hooked up to a headset, you're going to be getting the better speakers. If you don't want to get an external storage source, you have double the amount of storage built on. Not that 64 gigabytes is really that much for games. For the Switch games, it's a decent amount. They don't really take up that much space. Let me um, let me set this up a little bit. So I got Pokemon Unite downloaded. So we are going to look at this. So it's a little bit hard to see on, on camera, but for starters, this one 
it has a lot more flexibility. This is the furthest back that I can get that to go. This one, I can basically lay down. Like it goes even further than that. Not that I would ever use it like that, but this here is about a comfortable spot. And then the colors are like, they pop. They're a lot more vivid. The, the yellows, the orange, the blues, the purples, the whites, everything pops a little bit more on the OLED screen. And now let's um let's see what this sounds like. I'm gonna turn Whereas on this one, like the blacks aren't as dark, doesn't pop as much. A little bit difficult to see it on the camera, but in person, like it's a huge difference. But like, listen to it. I don't know if you can tell with that either, but like it just pops so much more on here. Like, look at this. That looks so freaking good. Look at that. Meh. It looks okay. But like that looks so freaking good. I can't even like, it's so much better. It really is. It's just so much better. Basically to sum it up is yes. I personally think that going up to the OLED switch is definitely worth it, especially since it's only a $50 difference. Um, the fact that you get a bigger screen, you get an OLED panel, you get better speakers, you get a better kickstand, the build quality of the switch itself far superior. That one, is, it's, it feels so much more durable than the other one that it's, in my opinion, a no-brainer. The extra storage is whatever. That I really don't care about. I was hoping they'd give it a better processor, but as far as I can see, same exact processor, so it doesn't really change there. Um, but those other features, in my opinion, is worth going up that extra 50 bucks. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me rambling about the Switch OLED. I really like it so far, and I'm definitely going to be playing this quite a bit. So if you don't use it in handheld, then there's not a huge reason to go up. But like, if you, def if you do use it handheld ever, um, going up to 50 bucks is definitely worth it. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to go down below, smack on that like button, and then tap on that subscribe button right after that. Hit that little bell. That way you never miss out on any of my uploads. And I'll see all of you in the next one. Peace.